Dean Baldur's online magazine and um, we're at the pre can uh, Festival. Um, can you introduce yourself, sir? Yeah, good evening. Uh, my name's Cy Wall and um, I'm a film director at Massive Films and we're here to launch our trailer for a film called Consequence. Mm. And um, how long has that been a concept for? Um, started, it started last July. Mm. It started, we had, uh, we had a film that went out to, to LA, went out to the AOF festival, um, and um, I, I, I couldn't go for, for family reasons, but I started talking to an actress that I know, and we were knocking this idea about, about having a feature film with just one actor in it. Um, and it was, a, it was a challenge, and she was always the only person I was going to do it with, because she is... It, She's a, she's, she will be better than Helen Mirren, and I say that, I've worked with a lot of actors. This girl is absolutely phenomenal, and she's going to be here in an hour's time, and she's delightful, she's a lovely human being, but her talent is, is exceptional. And there was no one else I was where ever was she, where, where, where did you discover her? She came to an audition for my last film, Speed Date. She came in at the end of a very long day, and we were all kind of losing the will to live a little bit, and... Um, uh, she just lit the room up and we, we gave her a smallish part but even when the film went to, to LA everyone was like who is that girl what else can we see her in and, and she's got that kind of, I mean she's, she made the whole uh, crew cry at one point or another while we were filming her emotional range is off the chart can you can you give Green Borders online magazine viewers um, a little um, a little storyline of, of the film sure consequence is a is a story about uh, a young girl, 23 years old, called Jodie Webster, who, uh, for reasons that you're going to have to watch the film for, I'm afraid, but for reasons that, that uh, we find out about during the film, she gets to live one day in her life without, without any consequences, with no paybacks, no price to pay, nothing. Uh, and we, we follow her on her day, we, we follow her as she kind of starts off the day and all the events that, that unfold. And some of them are kind of light-hearted, a little bit comedic. Some of them are, are one or two of them are quite dark. And it's, you know, it, if we asked a question to everybody, what would you do? And we'd ask your viewers, what would you do if you have one day? That you didn't have to worry about any paybacks or any consequences. What would you do? Mm. The, the, you know, it's it's such a wide open question that somebody else would have had been brilliant. Yeah. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. It's all about Jodie's day and and what she would do and wouldn't do and like to do and all that kind of stuff. And and um, when um, is it going to be available for for public consumption? Well, we um, we, we kind of start that process now. We've shot the film. We um, we're we're doing the post production. All that stuff. It, we have a, a, a gala evening on the 16th of August this year. We're, we're actually selling tickets for that to raise money for Great Ormond Street Children's oh, Hospital, fantastic. which is a charity that, that Katie, the, the actress and me, share a passion for. So we're going to give all the proceeds to that, um, and then hopefully by then we'll get we'll get distribution. And, and it's kind of a it's a real interesting film, and it's um, and again the, her performance is just through. It room, sounds so. a fantastic concept. It, well, it, it is, and, it's, and the thing is, you could make the, you could do it with everybody, and everyone's story would be completely different. And I think that's the joy of it, is that we're just doing it with one person, and to kind of open up the debate. You know, what would you do? Because mm. we all live our life by rules and consequences and actions and stuff. And we're saying that, that for one day only, there's a person that doesn't have it. And of course, we, you find out why too. Was it was it uh, was it hard to di to to direct just one one actress? Um. It, not hard to direct her as such because she's she's like an open book and she's got no fear about anything at all. Um, some of the things we got her to do were a little bit. Oh, is she really going to say yes to this? You know, and she kind of went through it. Um, but hard for me to direct her in regards to there was no one for her to play off. It was her doing actions, and there are there are other people that feature throughout her day, but we don't see them in the film. We've kind of been a bit bit careful with how we put it all together and, and how we film it um, so that it's just it's her on camera for about an hour and a half and, and that's a hard thing to get anyone to do mm. um, can you mention her name again her name is Katie Richmond and mm. uh, and I'd like to say that this is her first lead role uh, because she really is phenomenal okay uh, and you'll get to meet her later on we'll make sure you meet her and hopefully your viewers can see her too great thank you for joining Green Borders online magazine and good luck lovely thank you very thank much thank you very much thanks uh, Green Borders online magazine. Um, we're at the pre can Festival, Covent Garden, London, and our special guest this evening is Trevor Clark from Massive Films, um, and we're here to talk about your new film, uh, Consequences. Yeah, correct. 
Can you tell us a little bit about it, please? Oh, Consequence. Um, basically, Consequence is a film that centres around uh, one main character. Uh, the character is called Jodie Webster, played by the very excellent Katie Richmond. Um, and basically, without giving a plot away, Katie has the opportunity to spend a whole day in her life where she will have no consequences. Wow. So basically, she can do exactly whatever she likes. So the, mi the movie is very, very highly emotional then? The mu um, to say it's emo emotional is actually an understatement. I actually, I mean, I was there every step of the way, whilst the exec producer, I actually was on the film shoot for pretty much most of the days. And I have to say, I've never seen a film crew burst into tears around an actress. Wow. The, the, some of the scenes are quite stunning. Um, and the, the film, I guess, is, it has a bit of comedy, a bit of drama, emotion, a bit of revenge, mm. a bit of the bucket list, if you like, as well. It's kind of little elements of films that have been made, but I don't feel the reason why I invested in this film was purely because it was so unique. The director, Cy Wall, is kind of you know, quite a unique character, and you know. On his own, really. Yes, it, and, must, uh, it, it must have been a very, very difficult film to produce with just one actor. Very interesting. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm also producing another film, and uh, which has got lots of actors and some well-known actors. But to have one main character with a few kind of char characters that come that have very small parts, very interesting. Mm. Uh, in some ways, logistically, a lot easier. No, yes. Uh, because you've only got to worry about one person. But at the end of the day, you've still got a film crew, you've still got to make, you get the shots, yes. and you've still got to get the locations, and uh, we, we did all that. I, th I, th I, th I think many people would like to be in this position of this actress, where one day there's no consequences. I, I, I often wonder what I'd do if I had the opportunity. Um, but certainly when you look at what she does in the film, when you see the film, I mean, it, you'll get blown away without a shadow of a doubt. Um, some of it is totally unexpected. Um, even the script, as we went, parts of the script was rewritten as we went on, which does often happen in films, as you probably know. Um, but the twists and turns, even right to the end, where we just decided to do something different at the end, <laughs> brilliant and more than anything I really enjoyed myself um, I mean uh I mean, I run a business, business elsewhere. I mean, I guess you would call me a venture capitalist, I guess would be the term these days. Um, but to be involved with this film has been an absolute joy. I'm really proud of this, that I'm actually here now. I mean, we're here to present the trailer. Um, our plan is to get it to Montreal, you know, to the film festival. Wow. You know, and uh, we've got a meeting down in Cairns in June as well, with Sire is going down there uh, some date in June. So it's all happening for us. Great. Well, I wish you lots so, of luck with the movie. Thank you and very thank much. Thank you for joining Green Borders Online magazine. Thank you. <laughs>